With recent advancements in MediaTek, including the release of new media products like the latest MetaQuest 3 or the Pro, we think now is probably a good time in our series to ponder the question, what is the Metaverse? The Metaverse is a virtual reality-based community created by Meta. It serves as a hub for creativity and productivity through immersive and interactive experiences in gaming, art, music, entertainment, including shows and concerts, workspaces, education and training, shopping, communications, banking, investments, and more. Experiences within the metaverse can be broken down into the following. Virtual reality, which are tastes like full immersive digital experiences. Augmented reality, which is real world overlay with digital elements. Mixed reality, a blend of virtual and physical worlds. Extended reality, an umbrella term encompassing all the prelisted items. So who built the metaverse? Well, it's as simple as you, me, and the many individuals and companies. Using game engines, the metaverse allows creators to build games, apps, and more. Devices used to access the metaverse include VR headsets, AR glasses, smartphones, or even your desktop computers and laptops. In the metaverse, your avatar can morph into different representations of you within various environments, enhancing the immersive experience. You're probably wondering how all this could be helpful to you, especially if you're not really into all that digital stuff. Well, the metaverse is a representation of the physical and much more, depending on the power of your imagination and productivity slash moods. Co-presence, which is the feeling of being in the same room as someone, allows you to connect with others without the need for traveling thousands of miles. It's like a Zoom meeting with a lot of interactivity and presence. Continuity and persistent, that is maintaining consistency of identity and objects within the metaverse as they remain existent, akin to the real world. Interoperability, being able to carry assets from one space to another, including your digital wallet for making purchases. When discussing the metaverse, there are more technical terms to consider, such as decentralization. Like DeFi, an abbreviation for decentralized finance, describes peer-to-peer -peer financial services and banking using blockchain technology. Immersion, the idea behind the metaverse is goal for better experiences in interactivity and engagement with high productivity within virtual space. If you want to learn more about the metaverse, I'll suggest taking this free course on Coursera. This course has a futuristic, warm and friendly atmosphere that helps you absorb information easily. It is well documented, produced, filmed, slash recorded, packaged and presented. You feel well included while immersed in the presentations and storytelling, even without wearing a VR headset. During the course, you will come across several illustrations of the metaverse experience, which I imagine get even better for those who own VR sets. This course will open your eyes to the future of interactive technology and why it's essential to embrace it. It will show you new ways for productivity as a creative in the VR space and enhance your perception of the technology with a turn of room for entertainment, fun, leisure, turning your hobbies into means to make ends meet, or vice versa, and more. All we're doing here is building synergy with concepts between the field of media and that of tech, making everything easier and more relatable with friendly topics and ideas. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification so that you're notified every time we got new content. So see you on the next one. Cheers.